Good morning, muchachos. We are headed to our, I guess technically our fourth um, OB appointment. This is gonna be my third though with my midwife. Um, but yeah, it's our 16 week appointment, even though technically I'm 17 weeks pregnant. Um, but we are headed there now. I'm so curious too, like I forget, what do they do at, I don't know, like I know like the first initial like eight week appointment is, you know, to confirm pregnancy and stuff like that. And then 12 week is usually blood work, which is what they did. So 16 weeks, I don't really know. But hopefully we get to see Gummy Bear. We haven't got to see Gummy Bear since 13 weeks when I had my like, um, they call it a first trimester screening and when I did the whole genetic testing and stuff. Um, so hopefully we get to see baby, um, or at least hear the heartbeat or something like that. At our our 12 week appointment, we did get to hear the heartbeat and then we did do uh, blood work, a bunch of blood work. So I hope it's no blood work today. But I mean, if they do, they do. So we have that today. We actually have a lot going on today. Today is going to be a busy day. Um, I feel like today and tomorrow are gonna be busier days because there's just a lot going on. But Alondra finally went to school today. I haven't vlogged at all this week and I had intentions to, but Alondra's been home. Poor thing has had a bad stomach ache. It's been like coming in waves and she's been like throwing up, but only at night. Um, so she just hasn't been feeling the best. So today is her first day back at school. So fingers crossed, all goes well. She looked a million times better today and wasn't complaining. So I'm hoping whatever it was, she's all good. Edom and I are fine. So I, I don't know, I don't know if she ate something or, I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we just been like at home, haven't done anything. She hasn't gone to any activities this week. So hopefully she's good because tonight is actually her very first softball game. Um, and she's so excited, she wants to go. Um, and so obviously, I mean, you know, we're excited. So she does have her first softball game tonight. So that's like the two big things today is, I have my doctor's appointment, she has her softball game tonight. Also, too, Bridgerton is back today. I'm not going to get a chance at all today to watch Bridgerton. Um, but I'm so excited to watch season two. I cannot wait. Um, and then, Edom you know, and I actually have a few errands we need to do. We need to go to Target to pick up a birthday present because Alondra has a birthday party tomorrow. Edom you know, has a baby shower tomorrow. Um, Alondra and I are going to go to the baby shower because, you know, she's got her, uh, her birthday party. So, um, we have to pick up those two gifts. And then, oh, we want to go to Ikea and check out the custom closets. So I'm so excited. Uh, I don't think we're going to pull the trigger and buy today. Right, Daddy? We're just see how much, right, Dad? I mean. If the price is right, we're going for it. Don't tease me, okay? That's what you to hear. Don't tease me. Okay? Um, is that GPS on? Oh yeah, the GPS on. Okay, anyways, you guys. So we have some things going on. Let me turn off the GPS because I don't want to, you know, us to miss it. So check in later. For my after appointment, well, it's not really snack. It's actually breakfast. Having Einstein bagels, which I haven't had in forever, and this looks so delicious. Oh my gosh, you guys! Einstein was so good. Edom didn't get anything to eat, but we did get. Where is it? Oh, they're on the ground. We did get the um, the baker's dozen of bagels and we got like two of their, what do they call them? Schmears? I guess they don't call them spreads or cream cheeses. They call them schmears. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we got those. And then, you know, I'm so cute. He got, I felt stupid though because he's like, can I get a doggy bagel? I was like, what's a doggy bagel? And they're like, a treat for your dog? And I was like, oh. <laughs> I felt so stupid because I, I'm just gonna say pregnancy brain, you know? But I didn't show you guys our drinks. We got a strawberry banana smoothie. I've been craving smoothies. Um, so we got a strawberry banana smoothie and then we got a iced mocha. Super good. So now we are headed to Ikea. Iram got the measurements for our closet so we can look at the closets, like really look at them. I mean, we've like whenever we go to IKEA, we don't like stop in that section and like really pull out the drawers and like give it a good glance. So really look at them, do a quick um, 
well hopefully it's quick little like thing to see like what we like and like how much it would cost um and then that's pretty much it because we didn't bring the one thing for our fish tank that we needed to return so or not the actual fish tank but anyways doesn't matter but i guess to talk quickly or at quickly me talk yeah right um what did you just do <laughs> i talk fast but um i elaborate uh here let me move this down because we're getting next to cars and it gets awkward um oh my god yes you guys hold on Walk i'll get off sidetrack now okay remind me to tell them about our neighbor okay i don't want to say our appointment was bad because it wasn't bad it, it was pretty quick um it was literally, uh, we got to hear uh, Gummy Bear's heartbeat. Uh, she measured my belly. And then she just asked me if I had any questions, um, concerns, stuff like that. So, whoa. Um, so that was pretty much it. So I did ask her about, you know, if they did get the like report and everything from when I gave birth to Alondra. Cause you know, well, if you don't know, I had a C-section with Alondra. Um, she said she did get it and she did look at it and I had told you guys in the last like OB appointment vlog, I'm pretty sure, um, that I can have a VBAC if I didn't have like a vertical. Okay. So they cut you horizontally, but you can get like a vertical stitching. stitching? Yeah. Like. I don't know, like a tear, like the, well, because, okay, so I thought, obviously they cut you horizontally to have the C-section, well, not obviously, because my mother-in-law, when she had her C-section, they literally, her scar is vertical, like it is like, like up here and like down, so they actually cut her vertically, I don't know if that's a thing in Mexico, or maybe just like a thing back in the day, I have no idea, but she has like a vertical scar, but mine's horizontal, um, so yeah, that is normal. But I, when they take the baby out of the uterus, it's how do how do they take the baby out of the uterus? Do they take it out horizontally or vertically? And she looked at the operative report and she said that my doctor was very detailed, um, but because I pushed so long, I pushed for over six hours um, and how they had to get the baby out, um, I do have that vertical. Um, it goes like, she did like a drawing, which was actually really helpful. Um, but I do have the vertical, did she say tear or the cut? Um, so I can't have a V-back anymore because of that. So I literally was like about to burst into tears. Um, I, I'm not, I'm not going to cry anymore over it. Like I was holding back tears cause I didn't want to cry in the doctor's office. But I was just really sad, you know? I really wanted to be able to have a VBAC and to to do that. And if you don't know what a VBAC is, it's a vaginal birth after cesarean. So I wanted to, I don't wanna say deliver regularly or deliver normally because I feel like with delivery, I mean, is there really like a normal way? I, I don't know, if, you know, but you know what I'm saying? Like C-sections are more pop, or not more popular, but they're done more regularly now. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Um, so I, but I wanted to deliver vaginally. I, I did. I wanted to do that. Um, I didn't, you know, want to have a C-section again, but I, I knew there was a chance that I could have a C-section again. And obviously I'm okay with having a C-section if I need to have a C-section. It was just kind of a bum to have that glimmer of hope. Like, oh, it's looking good. Like I can have one. And then it's like, oh, you can't. But obviously I want to do what's safe for me and our baby and I don't want my uterus to erupt, to erupt. so I need to have a c-section um so I mean there's pros to the c-section like we'll know when gummy bear is gonna come I mean unless gummy bear comes early uh but I did ask her if I could schedule my c-section like 40 weeks or after because you know I prefer to have baby cook as long as I can she said that she's okay with that um, obviously it just depends, um, as I get further along, if it looks like baby's going to come sooner or not. And then she also said that I get to meet the surgeon. So I still get to stay with the midwife and the midwife team. Um, and they like they're midwives, but they're also attached to like regular OBs. 
Um, so they work hand in hand with the OBs. So I will get to meet with the surgeon if I want to. And I do want to meet with the surgeon. That's gonna, you know, do, you know. And she's still gonna be in the, in the delivery room uh, when it happens. And um, yeah, so it is what it is. Um, you know, as long as baby and I are safe and healthy, like that's obviously the most, you know, most important thing. So I think that was pretty much it though, huh? That was like the major thing of that appointment was getting that news that I will no longer be able to have a V back. But I would rather know now than later. Like I, I would hate to like be 28 weeks pregnant or something like that. You know, you're so close to, you know, and then be told, oh no. So I'd rather know now. Um, and then I can't schedule my C-section until I'm further along. She's like, yeah, we won't schedule that until you're, what she say, 28 to 34 weeks? Something like that, 28 to 34 weeks. Then we'll schedule them. And they only do on Monday to Thursday, unless I just, I guess, go into labor naturally on my own. Then I guess I get whatever doctor's on call. So anyways, yeah. Oh, we're already at Ikea. That was fast. Um, so that is actually a really big update. Um, as far as this appointment goes and then in 20 weeks I get my anatomy scan that's with the like high-risk doctor and then I go at 20 weeks again and see my man my midwife and um, that will just be like a regular appointment since I'm gonna have the anatomy scan with the high-risk doctor so anyways that is an update on gummy bear gummy bear Ooh, gummy bears pop <laughs> Why that makes you look. look at gummy oh my goodness gummy bear like that einstein bagel and she did say my belly is measuring good and the hearts per minute heartbeat per minute um is 166 it was 164 and then she's like oh 166 so um that was the heart rate but all right anyways we're gonna go inside ikea figure out this closet situation um and yeah if i don't forget to vlog I'll, I'll show you guys what we're looking at and yeah, I'm excited. If you guys have Ikea custom closets, comment down below and let me know. Oh my God, you guys, I am so excited. I wanna scream. <laughs> I, I've been wanting custom closets for so long and I think I have an idea of what I want, but I guess I just need to see like how many like big ones versus like little ones we can fit, but Ugh. we're just waiting for someone to be available to help us but I cannot wait I'm sad Ikea was a bust for two reasons number one they're basically sold out of everything um, they don't have like the frames in stock and while well, you need the frames to to do the closet and number two, like the sizes of the frames and the size of our closet, it, I don't know. Like I, I thought like we would get so much space, but it doesn't really look like we would. And to get like the optimal space in our closet. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me take off my jacket actually. Cause it is, it is hot. Is it seriously 82? Holy cow. I thought the high was only 77 today. Whew. It was like cold. It was 39 this morning. It was cold the past couple of days. I don't know what happened, like cold and windy. I don't know. I feel like I complain about this in every vlog. Like the Texas weather has just been so crazy, but I'm sure it's everywhere. But anyways, so the big one is even if we designed our closet and we were like, okay, that's exactly how we want it. Let's buy everything. Well, is the air on? Oh, I just have the vents not on me, sorry. Um, we wouldn't be able to buy the stuff because the frames aren't, well, only one size frames in stock. Um, and then he did it to like where we could like maximize all of the space, the back wall and the two sides, which is what I want, what we want. And um, there would be a gap in like the middle, right? There would be like a gap. And it'd be so minuscule, but... <gasps> No, he did not. Oh my, is he young? No. 
<laughs> what a moron. <laughs> I love your laugh, honey. You're so cute. So this truck, you guys, like goes to pull out and literally drives on top of the median. He's just like chilling on the median. So then you to like back out. Good thing he had like a big truck. <laughs> Anyways, though, that was interesting. I don't know what a bubble song. Um, but anyways, yeah, so the configure, so it's like two things. Like the main one is that we didn't really like the configuration of the frames. I don't know why. I just thought the frames would fit like perfectly flush and there'd be no gaps and it'd be like easy peasy, right? I thought the hardest part was going to be like choosing what goes on the inside, but it's not. Um, I can show you guys. He did do a way where it would be flush. Um, so it'd be like flush. I don't like how he did the insides, but I was like not gonna be nitpicky and have him like choose all the stuff just because, oh, that's upside down. <laughs> um, um, so yeah, it would be like flush the back wall and then these right here would just be like on the sides, but there would be a gap on each side and like the gap, I mean, I guess the gap would just stay like that. But to me, it just seems weird. I don't know. I liked the idea. Like I thought it would just be like all along. So kind of bummed. Um, but if we did like that, it would be like 1300. So not bad. Um, but then again, like when you change like the insides, then it would, that's what would basically change the price. And he put a bunch of like inside stuff that I would have want or whatever. So anyways, so yeah, so that's kind of like the bummer, but, um, the guy that was in is he a contractor? What is Alfredo? Yeah. A contractor, oh, yeah. The guy that um we had hired to have like the painting done in our house. Do we hire him for anything else? That was it. Have you even talked to him though? I Not in a while. Him when I asked him about the electrical stuff. Oh, that's right. Um. Anyways though, we had hired him and we like totally repainted our whole house. He knew a guy or knows a guy. He has somebody. Or he has someone that like works for him because he's a contractor. So he has like different people that work for him. That's basically what I'm trying to say. Um, and so he was has a, a custom closet guy. Um, Cause when we had first bought the house, I had mentioned how I really want custom closets, but we were gonna wait to do it because you know, we were paid a pretty penny to like paint our house and we did like a bunch of stuff. So um, we knew we would do closets eventually. So he told us though, like, I got a closet guy. If you want custom closets, let me know. So Edom is gonna contact him and ask him for his custom closet guy's information. Because if we do the custom closet that way, it'll be more precise and more exactly what it'll we exactly want. To our closet. Yeah. Just the price custom. Be yeah. I feel like the price will double though. That's like the only thing. Is I feel like instead of a thirteen hundred dollar. Ikea closet, I feel like it's gonna be like three, four thousand because it's gonna be more custom, but then at the same time, that's gonna be exactly what we want. So I don't know, I might just go because like now that I saw how the guy did it on the Ikea's website, um, I'm gonna probably play with it and see, like for my myself, if I can make something else work maybe better. So that's that. Um, I'm still kind of bummed, but I get, I don't know what's worse. The fact that it didn't work out perfectly or the fact that stuff's out of stock. Cause I think it would suck to have everything work out perfectly. And it's like, okay, yeah, we like that price. Um, let's buy everything. And then it's like, oh, we can't cause nothing's in stock. So whatever, either way, it's a bummer. We're headed now to Target. Um, I did like a Target pickup order for the birthday present and the baby shower gift. I think I told you guys that. So we figured before we go and get a laundry, well, it's 1226, we still have some time. Oh, I just felt my stomach like, oh. Um, but yeah, so before we get a laundry, just might as well get that. That way, once we get home, we don't really have to go back out again, um, except for like her softball game. So anyways, we're gonna do that. And I guess I'll just check in with you guys a little bit later, but that's kind of like the update on everything. So if you guys have gotten closets elsewhere besides Ikea and besides like the actual contractor person, comment down below and let your girl know. Because we are in the market for closets and we want to get it done before baby comes. So let us know. We are back home for the second time because we had to go and get a laundry from school. 
Um, but we had to go do a few errands once we got Alondra. Hi, baby. Hi, it's because one of my friends got in a really bad accident yesterday. She couldn't come to school, so my whole class made a lot of cards for her. My whole class made cards for her, like one, and then like we got her a flower. Yeah, Alondra wanted to get her flowers. So we went to the store, got her some flowers, and then we also needed to go to Dollar Tree. And then I got her a few better balloons. Yes, and then we picked up a vase too, that way yeah. her mom wouldn't have to like put the flowers together, you know? Um, so, uh, but at Dollar Tree, we had to just get like a few things for the baby shower, and then also, um, well if you guys wanna see the birthday. So we did pick up the stuff at Target today, so this is what we got for the birthday party tomorrow. It's so different now, huh? Yeah. Alondra had something similar to this, same like brand, but um, Look, it's just different. Like yeah, that's super cool. So I think she's gonna love this for the birthday party. And I already had a bag, so at Dollar Tree, I just needed to get a card because you cannot beat 50 cents for a card. So this is the birthday party, and then for the baby shower for Edom's friend, we just got the. Um, the crib mattress pad cover. Oop, my phone's going off. And then we got the sheets. I mean, obviously it was on their registry, so we just got those two things off of there. Because a lot of stuff was bought off the registry, which is awesome, you know? Especially when you're having a shower. And then I definitely wanted to get a, um, a bag at Dollar Tree. What, baby? Still too high. Yeah. Uh, I would cut it just a tiny bit more. Edam is always like the flower guy. He always like puts them in vases. Fun little fact. Um, but yeah, so when we were at the store, I was like, okay, let me get a bag. But it was like $5.99 for a bag. And I was like, I can't do it. We have to go to Dollar Tree. And I mean, $1.25, even though they raised the prices, but you cannot beat $1.25 for a bag. And then we also got a card for the baby shower. And then I wanted to get new, um, Tissue paper, because I was running low, and this one with like the glitter sparkles was super cute. And then, did I already say Alondra got the um, her friend a card? She did. She got her friend a card, too. So that's what we got. For the birthday party. Yes, for the birthday party. Thank you. And then the balloon, which was super cute, because it says feel better. So I think she's going to be so happy getting the like balloons and the flowers. Oh yeah, that looks really good, babe. And then, oh, did you put all the cards in here? No. So I have a bunch of like bags, so we're just gonna put all the cards in here. One of our best friends, actually. Yes, and, and then this is what Alondra made her. Crown it's so cute. It. It I get. know, that's adorable. So, and then so. I put like, you know, pink, and then like, if she wants it blue, she can, she can make it blue? Yeah. That's super creative. I don't know. If She's gonna know. love it. Yeah. And then, yeah, I think it's so sweet that all of her classmates made her cards. I think and that's I said, awesome. I know where Abigail lives, and then she said, can you please drop them off? Yeah, your teacher, right? Yeah, she, because she was like, I i don't know why I'm supposed to like drop them off. I was like, I know where her house lives, and she was like, can you please drop them off? Please? Yeah, she messaged me. Your teacher messaged me and yeah. asked me if we would take them to her, and I said, of course. So, that's what we are getting ready to do. It is, uh oh, my phone's going off. It is currently, you can't even tell, it's 4.44 and Alondra has to be at her softball game by 5.30, so we're just gonna get all of this ready and then we need to get you ready, little missy. Mm -hmm. Cause, oh yeah, yeah, we could drop it off on the way, that's a good idea. So, yeah. anyway, so that is what we're doing. So, need to get some food in your belly. And then, oh, here, daddy, you wanna tie this around the flowers? I think that'd be cute. That way it doesn't like blow away, you know? Alondra is a legit Capricorn because she's just so sweet and so caring. And I just love that she was just like, I wanna get flowers for my friend. Like, I don't know, it melts my mama heart. But we need to go ahead and start moving so we can get her ready, um, get her a little snack. Where did I put? I don't know. Your pants. I hung up your shirt, which her shirt is super cute um, and the, um, softball coach's wife, I almost said softball coach's mom, not the mom, but the wife, she put like the girl's names on the back. Um, and that was like really sweet uh, that she did that. But man, now I'm trying to think, where are her pants? So anyways, I have a feeling we're gonna be rushing here. to. Oh, found the pants, we're good. But yeah, I have a feeling we're gonna be rushing to make sure like we get everything done. But I mean, that's just how we always are. I feel like we're always rushing. So, anyways, 
Gonna go ahead and get her going, get her ready, drop that off, and then go to her softball game, and I'm so excited to watch her play. Who's ready for their first game? You look so cute. Let me, let me see you, girl. Oh my gosh. And turn around, let's see. Oh my God, I love the bow too on the visor. You look so stinking cute. You ready, Diva? Mm -hmm. All right. Go, Gorda! Throw it! Good job, baby, good job! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Good swing, baby. Good swing. Wait for it, baby. Wait for it. Good job, baby. Good job, baby. We are home. Alondra's doing dancing. <laughs> you look like a little ballerina. How is your game? Good. Good. We won. You won? Just kidding. I know. <laughs> it's okay, though. As long as you had what? Fun. That's right. And did you have fun? Yes. Yeah? Especially when I got to play with my friend. Yes. And also, we dropped off some feeling this stuff at my friend's house. Yes, we just got back from doing that, huh? Yeah. Yeah. So that was good Can to I see, see her. my dance moves? Okay, let me see your dance moves. My softball wiggles. dancer. Watch out, yeah. Wiggles. Ready? So I'm going to swing and then spin. Okay, let me see it. Whoa. Oh my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Beautiful, baby. You know how like, I batted? And yeah, I, I saw that. You incorporated up. softball with dance. Yeah. You're so creative. It was so cute at Alondra's game, her friends. So we had um, a couple of our neighbor friends. Oh, it's dark. So it was really sweet that we had like two sets of our neighbor friends and it's awesome because we all live on the same street too. So that was so sweet because they all, dang, we got all the lights on down here. Um, they were all like chanting and cheering for her and I meant to film it and I was just like, too like in the moment where I didn't film them, but it was the cutest thing. They were like, go Alondra, go Alondra. It was seriously the cutest even thing ever. The little so, ones. I know, even the little ones. I know, because they have, um, there's like little like brothers or whatever, and they were just like so cute, like cheering for Alondra too. It was adorable. So Alondra had a little like, oh, it's still dark. Sorry guys. But it was just so cute to see like Alondra's little like cheerleaders in the stands cheering for my baby. It like melted my mama's heart, and it just makes me feel good too, like knowing that she has good friends like coming to cheer for her, but also too like we have good friends, like friends with their parents, and like they'll come and cheer for our baby too. So it just gives the warm and fuzzies. And then after um, we stayed because our friends, well, I guess it's like two, I guess it's like three sets of friends. Um, her son had a baseball game. So we stayed and watched a little bit of that. And there's like a park. So and like Alondra went and played. Oh yeah, with the ball. So he was hitting the ball there. It was like a field ball. And a the foul ball. Ball, ball, whatever. And then it went over the fence and daddy was like, what's wrong? And I was like, eh. the, his name was like, and then he was like, <laughs> And you guys are cheering for him and he told you to be quiet, huh? <laughs> so it's just a little fun night of some softball, baseball. But anyways, we're home now. It is eight. What's ooh, that box? It's 8.48. What box? What box? I don't see a box. I still don't see a box because the rice pot's in the way. Oh, that's bagels. Can I have one? A bagel? I didn't know you liked bagels. I like these ones. Do you remember Airport? Oh, that's right. They are from, yeah, San Diego Airport has the same one. 
Wait, don't you want to eat dinner be before bagel? Yeah. Okay, we can have bagels in the morning. Okay. Um, anyways, so yeah, we're home. It's late. I'm honestly just going to end the vlog here because all that we're going to be doing. Yeah, of course you can end it with me. But yeah, so we're just going to end it here because we need to do showers. We need to eat dinner. And um, go night nights because someone has a busy day tomorrow. You have an early day tomorrow. So I, I hope you enjoyed today's vlog. vlog. Please, Please give, give it a thumbs, thumbs up. Don't, Don't forget, forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye, muchachos.